Mark Juliana. Very happy to be here in Montreal. I play drums and I write music and I'm here with my band tonight, the Mark Juliana Jazz Quartet. And let's talk about music. Yeah, the, the name of the first jazz quartet record is Family First, okay. and it's a bit of a motto to live by. It's, okay. I have my own family, I have one son, one he's three years old. Okay. Um, but uh, even before I had my own family, it, it was uh, you know the foundation that my, my parents had built. It's very strong, and I rely on that foundation to you know continue. Yes, I, I just got back from uh, a workshop at COSA with Aldo, who's based here in Montreal. And um, yeah, I really love that environment. I love to share. I love, especially in a group setting, um, I love the energy of exchanging information. And I really consider it an exchange. And I try to make it as conversational as possible because I always learn a lot every time I do it. It's very important to me. I had incredible teachers, and um, I, you know, again, I'm just so grateful for what they gave me. And if I could just give a little bit of that back, um, you know, that that would be that would yeah, it just feels good to share, you know. And, Before Family First, which came out in 2015, all my, the music that I released as a leader was in a more electronic environment. Um, but uh, some of my biggest influences and heroes come from the more acoustic world. And I got the itch to make a personal statement, to, to humbly step foot into a, more of a jazz sound and, and try to make a statement. And. Um, it, to be honest, I didn't have much expectations. Uh, it was just something I wanted to do, so I did it. And it wasn't until we made the record and really started playing a lot of gigs that I realized how much fun it was and how much I missed playing in that way. And ever since, we've been playing and playing, and now there's a new record that'll be coming out in the fall um, called Jersey, actually. A tribute to my, uh, my home and um, you know, like I said, uh, after Family First, maybe I thought, okay, I'll do Family First and then I'll go back to the electric thing and make a record like that. But uh, again, it was because of the, the fun I was having with the guys and with the band, it felt right to just keep the momentum and make another record. Yeah, in the jazz quartet, it's uh, Jason Rigby playing saxophone, Fabian Almazan playing piano, and Chris Morrissey playing upright bass. They'll be here tonight, they're on Jersey, and you know, we have lots of gigs for the rest of the year, and I'm grateful for their commitment. They're all band leaders and composers in their own right, so I don't take it for granted that they've given their time. relationship with the bass player is um, very special, um, or has the potential to be very special. I feel very lucky that I, I've played with some of my favorite bass players, and Chris is no exception. Um, Chris also plays with me in my electric project, Beat Music, so um, it's really fun to explore the vast, vastly different musical worlds, the jazz quartet and beat music. Um, 
you know, it's really, for me, I think if I wasn't a drummer, I'd want to be a bass player. I kind of wish I was a bass player, you know. Um, there's so much power um, in, in the role that the bass plays in the music. And um, in the wrong hands, it can be abusive power. And in the right hands, it can really, really make for a special situation. So, yeah, uh, quite often the relationship with the bass player is the first thing I'm thinking about in a musical situation. Yeah, the relationship with the instrument is, is very important. Um, tonight with the jazz quartet, I, you know, the, I only bring cymbals with me, so um, I have those which of course are comfortable and, and uh, very specific for the music. But the drums um, in this context are tuned in a very traditional jazz bebop sound, and um, and that's because what I think supports this music the best. But um, immediately sitting down at that instrument and that sound, it inspires different ideas rather than sitting down at a, a kit that might be tuned more for other music. So I'm always relying on inspiration from the instrument um, to, uh, on a certain night, I, I get a lot of joy about playing different drums each night. Um, because and trying to pull the, the the strengths out of each instrument and explore in the moment in real time <clears throat> investigating what's unique about a certain set of drums um, and that yeah it's, it's just another way to try to be present and you know play from that moment Absolutely, the room has a big plays a big part in that. Um, uh, first and foremost, um, the music this music relies so much on listening to each other and reacting. So uh, some rooms might be easier to hear the guys. Some rooms might be more difficult. Maybe a room is very live, so you don't hear as much detail. If there's lots of reverb or things, or, or if a room is a little tighter, you can hear all the detail and the interaction can can um, happen in a more detailed way. So, uh, but again, I love uh, the, the challenges of playing different rooms and really, um, yeah, just doing our best to, to present the music in a way that fits each environment. Trio, myself, John Coltrane, and Bob Marley. That would that would be a good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. 